So, uh, let us take now an example on uh, Gauss-Seidel method, right. So, we will take look it as, as far as classroom exercise is concerned, uh, we cannot uh, consider you know large uh, size of problem for that you need a computer, right. So, we have taken a 3 bus uh, power system, bus 1 is a slag bus and bus 2 and 3 it it considered as a PQ bus, right. And your and this thing solution for exact solution it will take more number of iterations, but your what we will do we will perform only two iterations such so that things will be clear. This is when both the buses are of PQ type and another example we will take on Gauss Seidel for PV bus, right. So, you have to find you have to uh, that use the first one is using the Gauss Seidel method determine the uh, your values of the voltage at buses 2 and 3 right. And second one is that find the slag bus real and reactive power after second iteration only right. Data will be given data will be given right and your part C will be your determine the line flows and line losses after second iteration right and uh, neglect line charging admittance. So, line charging admittance is not considered and data are given like this base MBA is 100 right. So, in this case 3 buses, bus 1 is a slag bus and bus slag bus voltage has been considered as 1.05 plus J 0 this is fixed and starting values for bus 2 and this is assume bus voltage bus 2 and bus 3 you take 1 plus J 0 1 plus J 0 although at the time of developing the theory we have said that flat voltage start is better. That means, if it is 1.05 other two also initial values should have been 1.05 plus J 0 right. But here we have uh, the or taken that initial values 1 plus J 0 and 1 plus J 0 and bus 1 is slack bus. So, no parameter no generation no load should be there by chance at slack bus if some load is there. So, that is actually dummy load and you do not uh, need anything during iterative process, but if load is there uh, at the slack bus right then what you can do you do not consider it will never come in your iterative process, but when you get the slack bus power right that is P, P G 1 and Q G 1 real and reactive power whatever you get and if there if any load is there at the slack bus. So, that uh, with that P G 1 whatever you got that load also has you have to get it later I will tell you uh, this thing right. And otherwise, uh, if anything is given, also this this will be act as a your dummy parameters for your so iterative process, right? And load at bus two is given 50 megawatt, 30 megawatt, uh, base MB is 100, and load is also given 305.6 megawatt, 140.2 megawatt, right? And bus three there it is not it is a load, but it, no there is no generation no generation there no generator connected, so zero zero but load is 138.6 and megawatt and 45.2 megawatt right. And line impedances are also given it is uh, 1 to 2, 1 3 and 2 3 all are given these are in per unit value. So, the impedance is a per unit value these voltages are also in per unit values, but these are given in real unit megawatt and megawatt. So, you have to divide all these thing by 100 because base is 100 such that they can be transformed into per unit right. So, next is that how we will go for step by step calculation. So, in that case that your uh, step 1 that in initial initial your computation first is you have to convert all the loads in per unit values. So, at bus 2 load is P L 2. So, 305.6 by 100. So, 3.056 per unit similarly Q L 2 also 140.2 by 100 1.402 per unit. Similarly, P L 3 138.6 by 100. So, 1.386 by uh, 6 per unit and Q L 3 45.2 by 100 0.452 per unit right. Now, all the convert all the generation in per unit values there at, at bus 2 it is given P G 2 50 megawatt. So, 50 by 100 0.5 per unit and Q G T is 30 by 100. So, 0.3 per unit right. So, all these things given now compute net injected power at bus 2 and 3 right. So, I, I net injected power means this one uh, suppose you have a suppose you have a generation in general I am talking say this is bus i and you have the 
load right say you have pli plus jqli for bus i right and here also say pgi plus jqgi right so in this case in uh, in this case that net injected power will be right so make it like this that pi and qi will be the net injected power right so pi will be actually pgi minus pli and qi will be qgi minus qli this is the net injected power at this bus right you take the injection one because this is power being injected a load is going out so net injected will be pgi minus pli right therefore uh, uh, therefore, your P, uh, P 2 that is at bus 2 it is uh, it will be P, uh, P G 2 minus P L 2 I told you that P i is equal to P G i minus P L i. So, it is P 2 is equal to P G 2 minus P L 2. So, 0 0.5 minus 3.056. So, it is minus 2.556 per unit. Similarly, Q 2 is equal to Q G 2 minus Q L 2. So, 0 0.3 minus 1.402. So, it is minus 1.102 per unit right and P 3 is equal to P G 3 minus P L 3, but at bus 3 there is no generation at bus 3 there is no generation that means 0 P G 3 and Q G 3 0 right. Therefore, it is 0 minus 1.386. So, minus 1.386 per unit and Q 3 is equal to Q G 3 minus Q L 3. So, 0 minus 0.452 that is minus 0.452 unit right. This way you convert this is the first step first step is these are all initial computation right. Now, second step is that your formation of your y bus matrix right. So, all all z i value all z i value z uh, i k values are given. So, first you find out small y 1 2 is equal to small y 2 1 1 upon z 1 2. So, this value is given 0 0.02 plus j 0 0.04. So, that is 10 minus j 20 right. Similarly, y 1 3 equal to y 3 1 is equal to 1 upon z 1 3 is equal to 1 upon 0 0.01 plus j 0 0.03 that is 10 minus j 30. Similarly, y 2 3 equal to y 3 2 all small y right small y do not confuse between uh, capital letter and small letter when it is capital letter that I showed you that how uh, that uh, your y matrix right and this is a, this is only for the line admittance right different line admittance that is 1 upon z 2 3 that is 1 upon 0 0.0125 plus j 0 0.025. So, 16 minus your j 32 right. Now, why uh, charging admittance is neglected. So, y 1 1 is equal to y 1 2 plus y 1 3 plus y 1 0. I mean charging admittance I mean if you find out y 1 1. So, it will be y 1 2 y 1 3 plus y 1 0, but charging admittance is neglected. So, y 1 0 is 0 right here it is 0. Therefore, y 1 1 is equal to small y 1 2 plus small y 1 3. So, 10 minus j 20 plus 10 minus j 30 is equal to 20 minus j 50. Similarly, y 2 2 will be y 2 uh, small y 2 1 plus small y 2 3 no charging admittance because we have not considered that. So, y 1 2 is equal to y y 2 1 is equal to y 1 2. So, y 1 2 plus y 2 3. So, if you sum it up it will be 26 minus j 52 right. Next is your uh, this thing y 3 3 capital y 3 3 small y 1 3 plus y 2 3 if you sum it up it will be 26 minus uh, j 62. Now, this capital y 1 1 from here it is coming right capital y 1 its magnitude will be 53.85 and angle minus 68.2 degree. Similarly, capital y 2 2 will be 58.13 angle minus 63.4 degree and similarly, capital y 3 3 right this one will become 67.23 minus angle 67.2 degree right. So, this all diagonals uh, any diagonal elements of the y matrix uh, made it right uh, that y 1 1 y 2 2 y 3 3. Next the off diagonal elements off diagonal elements capital y 1 2 is equal to minus your small y 1 2 right. So, minus 10 minus j 20. So, this will be 22.36 angle 116.6 degree right. So, that, oh, that we are capital y 1 2 is equal to capital y 2 1 right. It is similar matrix is symmetric. So, capital y 1 3 is equal to capital y 3 1 is equal to minus y 1 3 is equal to minus 10 minus j 30. So, it will be 31.62 angle 
108.4 degree right and y 2 capital y 2 3 is equal to capital y 3 or 3 2 is equal to minus small y 2 3 will be minus 16 minus j 32. So, this will become 35.77 angle 116.6 degree right. So, with that with that you form the y bus matrix y 1 1 y 1 2 y 1 3. So, y, y bus matrix is formed right. So, after this step 3 iterative computation, uh, computation right. So, in that case you have to you have to write down first all the 3 equations for the Gauss serial method we have we have uh, we have seen no that Gauss that all uh, that uh, your uh, the equations for the Gauss serial method. So, all these things are given in general right. So, for the bus 2 bus 2 we are writing v 2 v 2 p, p plus 1 right this this you are already already we have already just hold on already we have discussed this right. Uh, let me find out right uh, here already already we have uh, discussed uh, all these things right. For example, uh, for a 4 bus system already we have discussed all these things for a 4 bus system, but in this case we are considering only your what you call there is a 3 bus problem. So, you have only 2 equations because bus 1 is a slack bus. So, V 2 p plus 1 right p is the iteration count is equal to 1 upon capital Y 2 2 and in bracket p 2 minus j q 2 upon V 2 p then conjugate minus y 2 1 v 1 minus y 2 3 v 3 p this is equation 1 and as v 1 is a slack bus. So, please do not put here any iteration count because throughout this thing v 1 is a slack bus and its voltage is taken 1.05 plus j 0. So, that will remain constant right and uh, your and our, our buses are p q buses that is why y 2 y 2 1 or anyway this, uh, this is admission matrix element. So, this will remain constant and p 2 and q 2 also will remain constant throughout the iterative process right. So, only variable here is that is your v 2 that means, it magnitude angle both uh, this thing these two things right because this is a complex one this is a complex voltage right. So, this is uh, in general we write 1 upon y 2 2 then this is the for v 2 right. Similarly, uh, similarly for bus 3 uh, same way you can write uh, for bus 3 that uh, v 3 p plus 1 y 3 3 p 3 minus j q 3 upon v 3 p conjugate p is the iteration count anyway minus y 3 v 1 y 3 1 v 1 minus y 3 2 v 2 p plus 1. So, instead of instead of p you write that immediate values whatever you have obtained. So, v 2 this one will be computed first v 2 p plus 1. So, instead of writing taking v 2 p you take v 2 p plus 1 such that your convergence will be faster that is the number of iteration will be less right. So, so these two equations you have got right. Now, slack bus voltage V 1 is given 1.05 plus J 0 this is given. Now, starting values it is all data it has given starting values 1 plus J 0. So, V 2 0 is equal to 1 plus J 0 that is initial values and V 3 0 superscript you have taken in bracket 0 right. So, 1 plus J 0 these are the initial values. Now, what you will do that is except except your uh, what you call except V 3 and V 2 both the equations here are here v 3 and v 2 all are constant throughout the iterative process. So, for example, is that how, how we will compute for example, this equation this equation look I am writing here this equation this equation that you can write v 2 p plus 1 equal to right you can write p 2 minus j q 2 multiply this y 1 y y 2 2 y 2 2 right into 1 upon v 2 p conjugate right then minus y 2 1 upon y 2 2 all are capital into v 1 then minus y 2 3 upon y 2 2 v 3 p right because this term this term actually constant for the iterative process this one also constant throughout the iterative process and this term also constant throughout the iterative process right. That means, if you compute one this term and put it in that equation then no need to compute these terms again and again right. So, that is why in your in your computation that first you compute this term p 2 minus j q 2 upon y 2 2 and y 2 1 upon y 2 2 
and y 2 3 upon y 2 2 all capital right first to compute. Therefore, uh, uh, therefore uh, your this thing um, your uh, p 2 minus j q 2 upon y 2 2 p 2 and q 2 already we have got that per unit values before all I have shown. So, this is minus 2.556 plus j 1.102 and y 2 2 also you have got 58.13 angle minus 63.4. So, this will come actually uh, 0 0.078 0 .0 angle 220.1 degree right. Similarly, next is I told you that y 2 1 upon y 2 2 I mean all this all these things you have to compute y 2 1 upon y 2 2 y 2 3 upon your y 2 2 all you have to compute. So, then y 2 1 upon y 2 2 will be you substitute these two values right 22.36 angle 116.6 degree. And, and this is 58.13 angle minus 63.4 degree. So, that will become 0 0.3846 angle 180, 180 degree is equal to minus 0 0.3846 right it will come like this. Similarly, uh, capital Y 2 3 by capital Y 2 2 that is 35.77 angle 116.6 degree and this is 58.13 angle minus 63.4 degree that is 0 0.6153 and again angle is 180 degree. So, minus 0 0.61 5 3 right. So, these are these are the these are the for the uh, these are the parameters for this equation 2 uh, so equation V 2 right this will not change through the iterative process and they will remain constant right. Similarly, for for, for this equation also P, you have to compute P 3 minus J Q 3 divided by Y 3 3 this you compute then Y 3 1 upon Y 3 3 you compute because you multiply this one by 1 upon Y Y 3 3 and similarly minus Y 3 2 by Y 3 3 when you multiply this you compute because these are the term it will remain constant right. Uh, so, that means your if you do so if you if you do so. Uh, then your what you call uh, the first you write then v, your equation 1 v 2 p plus 1 first you write all this we have computed uh, that p 2 minus j q 2 upon your y 2 2. So, this is 0 0.0478 angle to 220.1 degree divided by v 2 p conjugate uh, plus because it was minus 0 0.3846. So, it is plus 0 0.3846 v 1 and here also it was minus 0 0.6153. So, it is plus 0 0.6153 v 3 p because right. So, these are the this is the equation 3 say this is for V 2 equation. Similarly, for V 3 you again compute P 3 minus J Q 3 upon capital Y 3 3. So, P 3 Q 3 all you have computed Y 3 3 capital Y 3 3 you substitute here you will get 0 0.0217 angle 229.2 degree. Now, the ratio you have to compute or capital Y 3 1 by capital Y 3 3. So, Y 3 1 known to you Y 3 3 known to you. So, that is actually coming 0 0.47 angle 175.6 degree right. Similarly, another one that y 3 2 upon y 3 3 the capital one capital y 30 this uh, put this value 35.77 angle 116.6 degree and 67.23 angle minus 67.2 degree you will get 0 0.538 angle 183.8 degree right. Therefore, that equation 3 right that means that this equation that means, uh, this equation this equation right it can be it can be written as V 3 P 1 is equal to 0 0.0217 angle 229.2 degree by V 3 P conjugate minus 0 0.471 angle 175.6 degree into V 1 then minus 0 0.532 angle 183.8 degree into V 2 P plus 1 right where we are putting V 2 this is equation 4. Now, this equation this is this this equation we put it, put it at equation 3 and this one we made it at equation 4 this you have to solve iteratively right. So, all the constant parameters first you compute because those parameters will not change throughout your iterative process right. Then you solve equation 3 and 4 iteratively first first iteration you put p is equal to 0 right. Therefore, when you put p is equal to 0 it will be v to 1 and this will be 0 0.0478 angle 220.1 degree v 2 0 conjugate plus 0 0.3846 v 1 plus 0 0.6153 v 3 0 right. So, v 1 1.05 we know that 1.05 plus j 0 0.0 we know that v 3 0 also 1 plus j 0 we know that right and uh, your uh, this thing your v 2 
initial value is also 1 plus j 0. So, here also it will be 1 plus j 0 conjugate means it is 1 right. So, substitute these values v 2 1 is equal to this one divided by 1 plus j 0 conjugate I mean it is 1 actually 1 minus j 0 means 1 only then 0.3846 v 1 is 1.05 plus j 0 and uh, your uh, other term 0.6153 initial value of v 3 0 1 plus j 0 then you uh, you compute all this right if you do so v 2 1 will come for first iteration 0 0.98305 angle minus 1.8 degree right. Similarly, for v 3 also you put uh, again uh, that p is equal to 0. So, v 3 1 will be this one already you have got it divided by v 3 is 0 conjugate right minus 0 0.47 angle 7, 175.6 degree v 1 right then minus 0 0.532 angle 183.8 degree that is your v 2 that is 1 in first iteration that means this value do not put here v 2 0 right immediate value should come in the, in the next equations right. So, here v 2 1 is this one. So, we make v 2 1 right and all then you substitute all v 2 v 3 is 1 plus j 0 conjugate and minus 0 0.47 angle 175.6 degree uh, 1.0 into 1.05 plus j 0 right and this is minus 0 0.538 angle 183.8 degree into 0 0.98305 angle minus 1.8 degree. So, v 3 1 will come is come after calculating all you will get 1.0011 angle minus 2.06 degree right that means that means that after first iteration this is the result v 2 1 is equal to this much and v 3 1 is equal to this much right. Now, second iteration when you will go for second iteration these values remain constant all constant parameters are uh, computed before. So, v 2 second iteration v 2 2 right when p is equal to 1 it will become 0.478 angle 220.1 that is fixed divided by that first iteration value whatever you have got for v 2 that is 0 0.98305 angle minus 1.8 degree. So, 0 0.98305 angle minus 1.8 degree conjugate right uh, plus 0 0.3846 into 1.05 plus j, j, your j, j, uh, 0 0.0 this term actually remain constant because v 1 is also constant right because it is a slack bus this term also will not change plus 0 0.6153 into 1.011 angle that your this minus 2.06 degree this value we got for v 3 1. So, if you make it so v 2 2 in the second iteration 0 0.98265 angle minus 3.048 your degree right. Similarly, v 3 2 also you calculate here also say this term we have got earlier and this is 1.0011 we got in first iteration. So, angle minus 2.06 degree conjugate right conjugate it is conjugate minus 0 0.471 angle 175.6 degree into 1.05 j 0 this term actually remain constant because v 1 also not change a slack bus voltage right. Then minus 0 0.532 angle 183.8 degree into that this v 2 2 voltage you have got it here 0 0.98265 angle minus 3.048 degree this value directly you substitute here right in right that that one you do it. So, if you do so, so you have put it there. So, if you do so v 3 2 will come 1 point 0 triple naught 99 angle minus 2.6 degree. So, this is up to uh, this is only two iterations uh, uh, we are not sure that whether solution has converged or not right. So, if you take if you do by your calculator another two three iterations then you may be knowing right. So, this is the steps to show you that how one can compute using Gauss Seidel method right how one can solve the problem right. So, only two iterations have been made right. So, uh, that is sufficient to understand this right. So, uh, next is that after second iteration your this is your what you call this is your uh, v 2 0.98265 angle minus 3.048 degree and v 3 to 1 point triple nine uh, triple naught 99 angle minus 2.0 6 8 degree right. So, this is your v 2 v 3 after second iteration only uh, you have been asked to compute the slack bus power. So, after second iteration slack bus power from equation 1 equation 41 right that means, this is equation 41 right we have when we are explaining all, you know, all the algorithm for the Gauss, uh, algorithm for Gauss serial method in step 4 computation of slack bus power. So, when I for slack bus power we have taken i equal to 1. 
So, P 1 is equal to k is equal to 1 to n then V 1 V k y capital Y 1 k all are magnitude right cosine theta 1 k minus delta 1 plus delta k for this is for P 1. Similarly, for Q 1 this expression right. So, after second iteration after second iteration you uh, and your n is equal to for our case n is equal to 3 because we are considering uh, your 3 bus problem. Therefore, equation 41 for P 1 can be written as k is equal to 1 to 3 V 1 V k capital Y 1 k all are magnitude then cosine then cosine theta 1 k minus delta 1 plus delta k right. So, when you will do such computation you have to have lot of patience right otherwise uh, there is every possibility to write this equation there is a term uh, you can miss uh, uh, there is this possibility. Second possibility is that calculation error that calculator error right that means you will if you try to uh, compute very fast then uh, you have to be very careful that uh, you are uh, calculating correctly otherwise there is a possibility of a mistake right. So, if you expand this it will become magnitude v 1 square then magnitude y 1 1 capital y 1 then cos theta 1 1 plus magnitude v 1 magnitude v 2 magnitude capital Y 1 to cosine theta 1 to minus delta y plus uh, delta 1 plus delta 2 right plus ma magnitude v 1 v 3 magnitude y 1 3 cosine theta 1 3 minus delta 1 plus delta 3. Now, after second iteration you have got this voltage after second iteration right and all the all the angles are known theta 1 1 uh, that is that angle of capital Y uh, 1 1 that angles are known right angle, angle of capital Y 1 to Y 1 3 all are known right. So, and then the delta 1 is your what you call delta 1 is 0 uh, because slack bus voltage 1 plus point 0 0.05 plus your uh, J 0. So, delta 1 is 0 and delta 2 after second iteration is minus 3.048 degree and delta 3 after second iteration minus 2.68 degree right. So, here you have to substitute all this data. So, in this case in this case magnitude V 1 is 1.05 and delta 1 is 0 that is slack bus angle right. Then magnitude V 2 is this much we have computed after second iteration just now I showed delta 2 is minus 3.048 degree. Uh, magnitude V 3 1.99 and this delta 3 is minus 2.68 degree. Now, capital Y 1 1 53.85 and its angle was minus 68.2 degree all we have computed right. So, and y capital Y 1 2 is 22.36 and theta 1 2 is 116.56 degree all computed capital Y 1 3 is equal to 31.62 and theta 1 3 is 188.4 degree. So, with this you, subs you substitute all these things for P 1 right this P 1 right. So, if you if you do so then you will get P 1 is equal to 3.84 per unit megawatt base MB is 100 if you multiply it is 384 megawatt right. Similarly, for equation 42 again in step 4 of that algorithm the right that means this equation again this equation you put n is equal to 3 for this bus and find out what is the uh, your reactive power of the slag bus q 1 right. So, in this case we are putting from equation 42 that means this equation this is your equation 42 this is equation 42 right. Therefore, q 1 is equal to minus k sigma k is equal to 1 to 3 more magnitude V 1 magnitude V k magnitude Y 1 k sin theta 1 k minus delta 1 plus delta k expand this right you expand this and uh, when you expand this it will be like this right it will be like this and then you substitute all the parameters whatever we have given here you have whatever we have given here all all the parameters here all all the parameters here right. So, you substitute and uh, after sub upon substitution you compute it is becoming 1.9786 per unit right. Uh, we call sometimes we call per unit megawatt right because it is actually per unit megawatt megawatt not megawatt this is q right that is multiply by 100 some it is per unit is sufficient we mega per unit megawatt you want to mean that is uh, real unit is megawatt that is why we call per unit megawatt right. But otherwise you just put per unit no problem right. So, it is, is equal to 1.9786 into 100 so 197.86 megawatt this is after second iteration right. Now, again from equation uh, 34 that whatever your what you call that loss formula uh, we uh, the sorry not loss formula that your line power flows formula right line power flows formula that P i k expression you have got in equation 34 same expression we are uh, you are writing here just put uh, the just put i is equal to 1 k is equal to 2. So, this is your line flows formula right 
just put k i is equal to 1, k is equal to 2 and put all the parameters right and put all the parameters. So, in this case uh, all that when you put all the data you will get p 1 2 is equal to 1.8189 per unit megawatt we call. So, that is 180 1.89 megawatt multiply this per unit value by 100. Similarly, when your uh, when your i is equal to 1 k is equal to 3. So, p 1 3 easily you can get it I mean in this expression that equation 34 equation 34 you can find out i is equal to 1 then k is equal to 2 i is equal to 1 k is equal to 3 i is equal to 2 k is equal to 3 p to 3 right all you will get it. So, similarly p 1 3 also uh, this is the thing and then you will get after upon substitution of all the data put all the data here you will get p 1 3 is equal to 2.0 per unit megawatt that is 200 megawatt multiplied by 100. Similarly, p 2 3 also when your uh, when your i is equal to 2 and k is equal to 3. So, this is the expression right put it you will get it p 2 3 is equal to minus 49.03 megawatt the minus sign indicates actually power is flowing from 3 to 2 actually as 2 to 3 is showing minus 49.03 means power actually flowing from 3 to 2 right. So, uh, thank you.